Hello, it's me, Itama Ibaneta, Omoe from Ripple Eye Development Initiative. And once again, I am so excited to bring to you another exciting report on our UNICEF project. Okay, now we have engaged another school, the Basharu Ojo High School. It is another public school in Ibadan Metropolis that um, was selected to benefit from this project. As usual, we engage them on the two hour session. The first hour for the demo talk and the second hour for the participatory session. And guess what? The weather was so fair. I, it was a wonderful weather for us to exercise all our activities for the day so the first se session was the demo talk session where we introduce people eyes to the students and we also introduce what the au unicef project is about to so relate their mental health and equip them with the right tool to go right and do right all right so uh again our uh, physiotherapist she engaged them on the topic my body, my pride. I could be the children to make them understand the all beauty of their body, building their self-esteem around their body, how to defend themselves against physical abuse and other form of abuses. Then again, we had a psychologist. She spoke on my voice, my power, making them understand how their voice is a powerful tool for them to overcome molestation and for them to be a um, wonderful giant against those factors or elements that want to jeopardize their future and it was a wonderful session with these girls even their principal was a facilitator on that day she shared her own personal story how she had um, gone through the challenges of life and how she was able to overcome the mental challenges that she encountered it was truly truly insane it was a community heart to heart session with these children. Trust me, these children were so they were, they were so enlightened that I am sure they will never forget it in a hurry. Now, after this session, we had an open session where the girls asked questions. They were so free to ask about any question. Come see these teenagers talk about how they have one crush and another with one crush. Well. We make them understand how to handle these their emotions, how they uh, they their best to go through these their faces. Going through the, like we always say, um, adulthood is challenging. Likewise, being a teenager is challenging. Being a, a kid is challenging. There's no phase of life that does not have its own peculiar challenge. And so we were glad to help these children to go through this challenge. Many of them came sharing with us, each, um, any member of our team, what they were going through personally that they could not share openly in the open session. Some persons are shy and some are just very private. They don't want their business out there. So we're able to um, tender solutions to these issues. And then we went on to participate in our sport, led by our physiotherapists who took them through the whole physical session, up, down, eight, this, and all that. And it was a wonderful, wonderful session, just so exciting. And then we shared them in different sports, the scrabble team, the football team, the volleyball team, the jump rope team. Because all of these sports, they are going to be competing with all the participants from all the selected schools. And we also left some uh sports items with them to help them train for the sessions ahead so we'll uh look forward to engaging them further on this project uh don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms follow us on facebook twitter instagram train tiktok just follow us everywhere because you don't want to miss any part of this project, trust me, you don't. I also want to use this opportunity to say thank you to AU UNICEF for this wonderful opportunity to make this wonderful positive impact in our community because this project is helping our young ones to grow right and glow bright, becoming mental giants. See ya! Bye.